Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It's great to see you. Today, we're gonna learn all about coordinate grids, what they're all about, kind of an introduction to it, how to read ordered pairs, and all the vocabulary that goes with it. All right, and if you've been to my channel very much before, you know that I always like to bring something fun to help us learn a new concept. And today, I'm really excited about bringing maps into our learning to help us understand coordinate grids better. And I wanna let you know that this skill is a really good one for lots of different real life applications. So there's different jobs that use this skill. There's different video games that use this skill. So stick around and let's learn all about it. Here we are at Mrs. Easley's Adventure Island. It has got all sorts of cool stuff. We've got a beach, a burger place, a skate park, library, ice cream place, marina, soccer field, lighthouse, volcano, and even a spot for Henry to set up his taco truck. There's a problem though. It's so hard to tell someone how to get to a certain point on this island without having a coordinate grid system to help us find a location. So here's a good grid to get us started, but I think next we're gonna need a number system to help us find a specific spot. Oh, these number lines will be perfect to help us find, let's say, the burger joint. Now we just need to learn a little bit more about coordinate grids, and then we'll be good to go. We can find any location we want on this island. All right, so to be able to really understand this awesome map that we're gonna be looking at, I need to give you a little bit more information about coordinate grids. So you will be able to locate points on a grid using the x-axis, which is a horizontal number line, and a y-axis, which is the vertical number line. And you're going to learn about something called an ordered pair. It's just a set of two numbers that help us find a point on the grid. So the first amount is always your X amount. So it's how much you move over on the X axis. And then the second amount is your Y number, your Y coordinate, and it tells you how much you go up. And we will practice this to get even better at it. All right, so I labeled this example of a coordinate grid with the Y axis, so the vertical number line, the X axis is the horizontal number line. And then here's one more thing that's really important to understand. The spot right here where it's zero, zero is called the origin. And we need to always, anytime we're plotting a point or putting a point on the grid, we need to start at the origin. Okay, so if I gave you an example like, I'll use that same example we used earlier, one, two, we would start at the origin, at the zero, we would go over one, that's the X amount, so over to the one, see how I started at the origin, I move over one, the two tells me the Y amount or the up amount, and so I would go over one, up two, and my point would go right here. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna give you your first point of two, two. So now remember to start at the origin, go over two, and then up two, and where are you? Great, you're at the beach. Try this next one. Three, four is the ordered pair. Where do you end up on the map? All right, let's see. Start at the origin, go over three, 
the x coordinate, go up four, which is the y coordinate, and I've got the burger joint. This time I'm going to give you one of the locations and you're going to try to figure out the ordered pair. So let's take the ice cream place. What ordered pair describes that location? You can pause the video and see if you can figure it out. All right, so I'm going to start at the origin and I go over seven and up eight. So a good ordered pair would be seven, eight. Now I want you to pause the video and find a good ordered pair for Henry's taco truck. All right, let's check your work. So I started at the origin, the zero. I went over six on the X axis and up three on the Y axis. And so my ordered pair is six, three. Now let's pause the video and find these three ordered pairs and tell me what location they're at. All right, so hopefully you started at the origin, went over nine and up three and got the volcano. And I want to point out that if you went the wrong direction, so let's say you went up nine and over three, you'll see that you're in the wrong spot for the volcano. So you always want to go over the first X coordinate, since it's on the X axis, and up the second coordinate. Now let's check your work on the other two ordered pairs. So 10, 5 starts at the origin, over 10, up 5. Yay, you got the lighthouse. Then we can check the 4, 7 ordered pair. So start at the origin, go over 4, up 7, and we're at the skateboard park. Okay, so here's three more points that I want you to find on the coordinate grid and tell me what is located there. All right, over nine, up seven is the soccer field. Over nine, up 10 is the marina. And over four, up nine, you got it, the library. Great job on today's lesson, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one.